Christmas time is quickly approaching. And for many of us, we may wonder, is it okay to celebrate Christmas given the fact that it's not traditionally a Buddhist holiday? And the answer to that question is absolutely. In fact, it is a very good thing for us as Buddhists to celebrate Christmas with our families and friends. However, we can't just leave it at that. We must understand the underlying reasons why it's so good for us as Buddhists to celebrate Christmas. In that way, we can transform what would normally be just a regular holiday into a pathway for enlightenment for ourselves and others. Now, the first reason that it's good for us as Buddhists to celebrate Christmas is filial piety, also known as family devotion. Devotion to one's family is so important in Buddhism that traditionally one cannot enter the Buddhist order becoming a monk or a nun unless they have the permission of their parents beforehand. More than that, they must be able to prove that someone will be left behind, either a relative or a family friend, to care for their parents once they become old. If there is no one to care for their parents in their stead, the individual must wait until their next life to enter the Buddhist order. With that said, we can easily understand why Christmas is in keeping with Buddhist practice because it's an excellent opportunity to practice devotion to one's family. When we create meals and share food, giving our family and friends nourishment for their bodies, we not only relieve the suffering of their hunger, but we build relations with them that can last a lifetime. Good memories that they will look back on fondly for years to come. In addition to that, when we give them gifts and give them the opportunity to give us gifts, we again build those relationships. We also end suffering by giving them things they need, clothing, tools, etc., and things that maybe they don't need necessarily, but that will bring them joy, like toys or video games, movie subscriptions. <laughs> By giving gifts and food to family and friends and allowing them to give us gifts so that they get that feeling of satisfaction that comes from giving a gift, then we not only end suffering, but we create joy for our family and friends, which is an excellent expression of family devotion, also known as filial piety. In addition to that, The Christmas holiday gives us the excellent opportunity to practice generosity. Generosity is one of the six perfections or six paramitas that we are told to cultivate as Buddhists in order to better align our minds with our internal Buddha nature. When we practice generosity, we remove the defilements of greed, anger, and ignorance from our mind and move one step closer to enlightenment, manifesting our Buddha nature in the world around us. To learn more about this practice of giving, also known as pure giving, we'll read a passage from the Upasaka precepts. I have a copy here. And the passage goes as follows. To give away things of good color, smell, taste, and touch is pure giving. To give things acquired properly is pure giving. To give with the thought that wealth is not permanent and lasting is pure giving. To give for the purpose of breaking afflictions is pure giving. To give in order to purify one's mind is pure giving. If one considers who the giver and the receiver are, what to give and why to give, and what consequences one receives from giving, the giving through these reflections involves the twelve entrances. Further on in the passage it says, When giving, one brings forth a joyful mind toward the fields of blessings. The fields of blessings work for meritorious virtues. Likewise, I do so unceasingly. Giving to one's wife, family members, and servants causes them to arouse a compassionate mind, while giving to the poor eliminates their suffering.
So what the Buddha is telling us in this passage is that the giving of gifts and nourishment and the receiving of gifts and nourishment during any time of the year, but also during the Christmas holiday, isn't just a nice thing to do, it is an important spiritual practice. When we give gifts away, we get rid of the defilements of greed, anger, and ignorance in our mind, we rid ourselves of stinginess, the idea that wealth is permanent and we have to hold on to it. Instead, we take our wealth and we share it with our family and friends. More than that, we help create the mind of compassion and generosity in the people we give gifts to, making them more likely and more ready to realize enlightenment themselves. And of course, when we give uh, gifts, money, food, etc. to the poor, we relieve the, the suffering they have from lack of nourishment. So it's not just a nice thing to do, it is an important spiritual practice when we practice generosity during the holiday. Not only ending suffering for ourselves and others, but moving all people one step closer to enlightenment. Amitabha.